Have you heard of Chat GPT? If you don't, can Chat GPT make a game? This Chat GPT tutorial. Chat GPT is taking over the world. So recently, a pretty big topic has swept over the internet about an AI called ChatGPT. This software is so powerful that it can do anything from running a YouTube channel to doing the English essay you should be working on right now. If you want to know how to cook a new recipe without burning down your entire house, ChatGPT can do that. If you want to learn about complex math algorithms, ChatGPT can also do that. If you want to subscribe to Prismatics, you can click the big subscribe button below the video, please. Now, I wanted to put ChatGPT to the test to see if it's really as good as everyone's saying. So after reading up on it a little bit, I was practically an expert. The first thing I need to do is decide what I want ChatGPT to help me with. And since I would consider myself to be an avid block game enthusiast, I decided the best choice would be for me to ask it to help me make a Minecraft data pack. To make any data pack, there are three major things that need to be included. The first is the main file, which tells Minecraft that this is indeed a data pack. Luckily, ChatGPT knows this, and it's the first thing it gives you when asked for help. The other two things you need are a script for when the pack starts, and a script that runs every tick. Acquiring these parts of the pack are actually quite straightforward. You just need to ask ChatGPT to generate them for you, and then it's just a matter of copy and pasting them. This is where things get interesting though, because we can finally start adding elements to our data pack. However, I started out way too ambitious by asking for a bow that shoots TNT. The script it gave me was less than ideal. When run in game, it gives you a block in TNT and summons an already primed TNT at a hard-coded location. It was at this point when I realized I needed to start a lot simpler. So instead, I asked it to give me a script that would make fire charges actually shoot as we all know they should. Seriously, Mojang, please add this. But even this was too much for ChatGPT, as it did the same thing as before except with fire charges. After a little bit of thinking, I decided to download an existing data pack that already had this coded up. The code behind it was really simple, and I realized it was also the same pack that I had gotten inspiration for my Angry Birds game from. In the pack were three main components, a script that would give you a snowball with special MBT data, one that would summon the fireball when the snowball was used, and a final script that would propel the fireball in the direction the player was facing. The first one was really simple. I just asked ChatGPT to give me a script that would use the give command with an extra tag on the end to give the item a special ID. The second script was also pretty straightforward, albeit slightly more difficult to get a good outcome from the AI. I first needed to check every tick for a snowball that was in the air that had the special ID. If one was found, then I needed to summon a fireball at its location, also with custom MBT data, and finally delete the old snowball. In theory, it's all really simple. But when you have to get a specific outcome from an AI, you also need it to be quite specific with the input you're giving it. Now the last script was what I was really worried about. Everything up until this point was really straightforward and simple to code. From here on out, I would need to get ChatGPT to use scoreboards in order to access math operators, as well as storing information and performing actions on the fireball itself. I feel like this is a good time to mention that if you want to learn more about how to make this specific data pack, I'll leave a link to the original video which goes really in depth in how it all works. I definitely recommend checking it out, and while you're down there, it would mean a lot if you click the subscribe button. It's free, and it only takes a few seconds to do. The final script was taking a lot longer than expected, and I basically had to give the AI the answer in the form of a question. But, after about an hour of just asking questions, I finally got the outcome I had been looking for. And when the moment of truth arrived, the data pack- oh, hang on a moment- and when the moment of truth arrived, the data pack worked. While yes, it did take a decent amount of time to figure out, an AI did come up with this entire script. And after I've used it a little, I think I better understand how it works. Going into this project, I thought you could ask the AI whatever you wanted and it would just give you the answer. But there's a lot more to it than that. You can't just ask it to make you a script that shoots fireballs, you need to tell it how you want it done. Which is actually a great thing. It allows for a lot more versatility and subsequently, a lot more functionality. And not only is ChatGPT great at helping you figure out how to create things, it's also amazing at troubleshooting. Seriously, there were times where either a script didn't work or the data pack just completely broke and I was able to tell the AI what had happened and it could just give me the solution. Overall, ChatGPT is an amazing tool that I think isn't going to replace jobs or innovations. I think it's here to help us and become the best that we can be at working and coming up with new amazing ideas. And I know that for me personally, I'm definitely going to be using a lot more of ChatGPT in the near future.